Hey, I'm Roland and this is Seed. So we are a marketing agency here in Miami and we specialize on e-commerce. As you can see, we have a bunch of stuff from customers all over the place, photo studio back there. Uh, so we do video content creation and everything specialized on e-commerce. If you want to build your online store, there are a few things that you need to understand in order to create an awesome online store. First of all, we don't pick the niche for you. The niche has to be picked by you and the products on the niche has to be picked by you. Why? Not because we don't know what the niches are, but this is your store. This is going to be your baby. It's a big responsibility to pick the niche because the success of the store relies on the niche. We as Fiverr Pro users don't recommend you to let that decision to someone else because it's basically irresponsible. There are a few things also that you need to know. Uh, once you pick the niche, we, you need to pick the right products. Pick the, pro the type of products that have great reviews. We do recommend you to order some samples. Having samples on hand will allow you to take pictures of them, to take videos of them, to work with social media, to improve the whole ecosystem of the store. Because remember that creating a store is creating a brand and brands are made of out of experience, storytelling. Order some products, touch them, feel them, have them on your hands. It's a great idea to start. It's a great opportunity to know what you're selling because you're speaking products out of nothing that you have never seen, that you don't know how good they are or how bad they are. It's a bad idea. Yes, we can make drop shipping really easy, but it's important that you keep it as a business. It's important that you make it a process. You pick the products, you order some products, they're cheap, that's okay, they're coming from China, you wait whatever, you can contact the seller directly and ask them for a speed uh, shipping so they can FedEx to you or whatever so you can get them quicker and then once you have them on hand then yes start selling them. But don't start selling stuff that you have never seen because you're gonna get into trouble later. Another thing, when you have products on hand, you can do a lot of stuff social media related, like do your own reviews, send it to people for them to make reviews. There's a lot of stuff that you can do once you have products on hand. If you don't have products on hand, basically you're gonna have the same pictures that everybody else has. This is bad because as you know, there's a lot of movement around the AliExpress dropshipping thing. Everybody's having the same picture with the same girl, with the same look, the same thing. No one has a special product and you need to make your products special. And then the only way to do that is to have the, those products on hand. Number two, remember that you need branding. Branding is more important than ads, conversions or anything because ads are good, but once you start doing ads, and you don't have any branding and you have to stop doing that for some reason, then there goes your store because you didn't make any branding. So it's very important that you focus on branding. Good brands are memorable. Good brands are easy to recognize. Good brands are the ones that people trust. You build that branding, having a great logo, having uh, a great social media experience and all that. Advertising. The cheaper way to advertise on Google and to advertise your store in general is Google Display Ads or YouTube Ads and then retargeting through Facebook. That's the best way. Keep in mind that a customer will need at least three interactions with your store to make a purchase. So they have to go to your store, then they will go away, maybe they will add something to the cart and you will send that card reminder email, yes. But still, they're gonna go again and again and again until they make a decision. So that's why it's important that you have your social media in place, everything in place, so you, you bring trust to that purchase. You bring trust or you add trust to that customer. So when he comes back, then he's ready to make a purchase. How long does it gonna take? It could take up to three months to have a steady visitors and a steady cycle. So don't waste your time thinking that you're gonna start your store, you're gonna run three ads, and you're gonna make a sale. That is YouTube crap, basically, um, because it doesn't work that way. You need to establish that relationship and you need to make that sales cycle complete. It takes time. This is like running a brick and mortar store, but it's online. So you need to attract them, you need to engage them, and you need to keep them coming. That's it, besides that, it's an online store like 
any other sort. 